two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation on the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Saturday, September 21st. And today I'm going to do a chest workout and then cross train between doing some push ups, doing some uh, uh, loop bands, and I'm going to also do some of the power chords. So I'm going to do about five exercises, basically for the chest, really good exercises. So make sure you stay tuned to check um, this video out. And if you don't have loop bands or power bands, you could, you could also, you can use dumbbells. You can use just your body weight. Um, you don't necessarily have to have the, the power tubes or the, the loop bands. And I'm even going to do some cables too. I'm going to even I'm going to cross train between I'm going to do some cable uh, push downs for the for the chest as well. So I'm going to do a pretty good uh, chest workout today. And, and shoulders and also hits the triceps too, but primarily the chest. And uh, so make sure you stay tuned and watch this video and check out these exercises and watch the whole video the whole way through. Right, bud? And hopefully later I'm going to take Buddy out for a walk because it is beautiful outside today. It's nice and cool, nice and dry, and hopefully it won't rain. And take Buddy for a nice walk. And I noticed his hair is starting to grow back. He's, he's starting to get his fall coat because the weather is starting to get a little bit cooler. And um, it's at the point where we don't need to use our air conditioner so much anymore. Right, Buddy? We're at right that small time of the year where... You don't really need an air conditioner and you don't really need to turn on your heat. So it's a, it's a time you can open up the windows and let the fresh air in. And then real soon, we're going to be doing some raking. And raking all the leaves and all that fall stuff in the New England area. But without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises and Bud. I'll put Bud in the other room. So I'm going to make sure he gets some camera time over here. Right, Bud? Arr. Because <laughs> Bud is looking awesome. He is looking awesome. And he can chill out and relax in the other room. And then later, I'll take Bud for a walk. Because he needs his exercise too. Yeah. All right. very stiff too so I might when I get up and I from the floor you might hear me creaking and moaning and I am going on 53 but it's mostly from sitting in the chair all day and typing like this and my my back just kind of locked up so I'll be doing I'll be doing a lot of yoga this week to, to loosen up those muscles but anyways first I'll take three deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth Say the mantra. Um. exercise I'm going to do is a standing incline chest press. I'm going to use the power tubes. I'm going to use my left foot as the anchor point and I'm going to try to get about oh, 12 to 15 repetitions. Count along with me. Now 
And these you can also do one arm at a time. Get a little twist. All right, I think I got about 20, 21, something like that. It's nice because my lower back is so tight right now. Doing that from side to side, kind of turn my back a little bit and kind of give my uh, back a nice little lower back stretch. Awesome exercise. If you got some power tubes, you got to give them a try. All right, my next exercise is going to basically be is going to be the same exercise I just did, but as you can see, I got my anchor point is is at a lower is on the is underneath my, my squat rack. And if you're not using your foot as an anchor point, you can use something you know lower to the ground. This way there you can you can stretch out the band a little further and it'll increase, increase the, the tension on the exercise or you can stand back, it'll decrease the uh, tension on the exercise. That's what's good about using the anchor point because depending on how tall you are or short you are, if you're using your foot, that's how much tension you're gonna have with the band. This way here with the anchor, you can kind of you can kind of move around a little bit, increase and decrease the tension as as you as you think is is good. So I'm going to do again. I'm going to do another set of um, incline presses with the power tubes, and I'll go for about 12, 15 repetitions. Come along with me. Really good exercise. And that one there, I kind of just push, pull, uh, push my body forward a little bit to increase the tension. And uh, it was really good. And I, it's probably a little more effective than using my foot. Again, using your foot, you only got you know one point of you only got that one anchor point. So that way, you increase the tension a little bit by using the, an anchor point on the ground. All right, the next exercise I'm going to do is a press fly combination using the loop bands. I'll start with the fly. Basically, I'm going to put my arms out and I'll go for about 10 15 repetitions. Come along with me. It's a good exercise for the for the chest and the front uh, shoulders. You could also do a press movement with the with the bands. You can really feel that in the triceps and the front shoulders. You can do one arm at a time, kind of turn your body a little bit from side to side. That's a really good exercise for the triceps, the front shoulders, and the chest. I feel a really good stretch on my back too, since my back is really tight. It's starting to, doing these exercises, believe it or not, I'm doing chest and shoulders. Um, my lower back is starting to loosen up a little bit and feel a little bit better. <laughs> All right, the next exercise I'm gonna do is a push-up with the power band and my push-up bars to add increased tension in this exercise. I'll go for about uh, 12 to 15 repetitions. Come along with me.
17 reps. Did a little better than I thought I would. <sighs> Using the push-up bars along with the power band, you get a really nice stretch on the shoulders and then when coming up with the power band really adding some extra tension to the exercise. Really good, good, really good way to add resistance to the push-up. And using the push-up bars increases the range of motion. Because if you're just doing them off the floor, you can only bend your elbows so much. If you don't have push-up bars, you can use chairs, you can use milk crates, you can use blocks, you can use all sorts of things. Really good exercise to advance the push-up. You gotta give it a try. My final exercise is gonna be a set of cable uh, cable flies for the lower pecs and uh, I'm going to be bringing the weight down when it hits the lower pecs. If you don't have a cable fly like this, you can do this exercise with uh, like on a decline bench press or dumbbells or a, you can do a set of push-ups with your feet elevated up on something like a chair or a block or something. And I'll go for about, I don't know, maybe 12 or 15 repetitions. Come kind of along with me. repetitions and it was awesome exercise and remember if you like these videos make sure you subscribe to travels with buddy remember give these exercises a shot really good for your chest shoulders and triceps also remember to keep taking those walks all right everybody have an awesome day see you on the next video